to MGRNA video again. Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, with everything going on, it's been difficult to get things sort of been obviously COVID and then uh, I've actually been ill a while myself, which uh, has been quite difficult, but glad everything's starting to get back to normal. And uh, yeah, we're in, uh, in the house today, uh, a wee bit different, but I just thought I'd try and get this wee intro done and get the video up today. Um, so just to summarize, uh, yeah, this is a, just a wee small technical video for the 75 set T owners. Um, one of the major issues with the cars is handbrakes. So hopefully this video gives you a wee bit of insight on how to repair them, how to fix them, how to set them up and the common issues you'll find. Um, any, uh, anything you want to ask or you have any questions about it, just put it in the comments below and I'll try and get, uh, try and get back to it. Um, this is when I was redoing my own car and uh, basically I rebuilt the, the rear end of the car so it gives you a bit of an insight on what's involved. So hope you enjoy, like I say, please leave some comments if, if, you're, if you have any questions and I'll try and get back to you. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the main components involved in the 75 handbrake as you can see here. Got a few uh, easier ways to show you. Now the main problem you'll have uh, with the 75s and the 670s is the actual backing plates. So these are the backing plates uh, that go on to the stub axle. And as you can see from this mount, all your uh, handbrake mechanism. So what you find is you'll not have a very good handbrake. Uh, it's whatever way you adjust up, you'll still not get a good handbrake. Uh, usually what happens is the actual shoes will uh, come away from this plate. Uh, the, the handbrake, it's, the, the shoes themselves are already held on by these two pins here. And they go through these holes here. Uh, what usually happens is this will rust away and the pins will actually pull out of the backing plate. And then the shoe can move about. Uh, so basically how this works is that you will mount everything like this. Uh, the handbrake cable comes in through here and attaches this mechanism. When you pull the cable, it pushes these shoes apart and then it obviously then grabs friction with the disc. The disc goes over the top of this. So this is in the inside of your brake disc. So when you pull the cable, this pushes out the way and grabs onto the disc. Now, before you do any of that, when you're setting them up, is that you want to leave the cable loose inside the car. So loosen the cable inside the car, uh, get your disc on, and then you want to adjust this top adjuster. This this pushes the shoes out, and you want you want them just just gripping the disc because obviously when you drive especially when you use shoes they need to wear down a wee, wee bit and, and then get you a bit, a bit more grab so then when you've done that and you're happy that the disc is just turning uh, you can then go into the car and adjust your inside adjuster over here which I'll show you in a wee minute so that should get you a good handbrake um, over time obviously this will wear and you need to uh, maybe every service give this a wee adjust just to give a wee bit of a tighten up so yes back to the main issue so the main the main issue is is these pins will pull out now in the past this is quite a this is quite a big job to change these these brake discs because it's basically a full disassemble uh, you have to take the wheel bearing off and then you can get this off and then sometimes these four bolts can be quite hard to get out as well and then you have to change over your uh, handbrake cables which again mount into these holes uh, usually these will be seized as well because it's metal on metal now the new handbrake cables all come plastic now which is a great idea but the old ones usually are metal and they're usually seized and they're very hard to get out so you'll find that when you go to change you might have to either 
damage your maybe damage your handbrake cables or you might have to replace them so what i've come to conclude is if you're happy enough with the rest of the plate and it's just the mounting holes what you can do is use uh, an old style pin uh this is what they used in the older older style setups and basically what you do is you bring the pin in from the other side so that means you get a good surface you can, you can actually put a washer on these as well if you want you bring this through and then you you use your use a spring and then a cap and that will hold the shoes in place so that's usually the easiest fix you can pick them up uh, anywhere uh, you, most motor factory and stuff will have them so yeah that's that's basically the plates so that's that sorted next you move into the car and this is obviously your handbrake assembly and this is your cable onto your your balancer your compensator so basically what this does is this takes a wee bit of a wee bit of uh, slack out of maybe your handbrake cables just slightly slightly wrong so again uh, another common problem is this unit isn't strong enough uh, you'll find that a lot of mechanics especially for MLT will go in and just tighten this up before MLT and stretch this without even going in and adjusting the plates which is the wor worst thing to do uh, and you'll find that most cars this is actually out of my unit it's as you can see it's run out of thread so this is why I'm changing this but um somebody's put an extra nut in there to try and get a bit extra length on it but that's what you'll find now a lot of guys will just um replace this this u section with uh just a stronger unit like a like a lock set sort of setup and uh i've seen those a lot in the past and yes work fine what i do is you've probably seen it already is use this this is from the minis uh, it's exactly the same setup. It uses exactly the same kind of handbrake cables. A uh, lot, lot stronger setup. It gives you a lot more uh, adjustability as well. And lastly, the cable itself is actually uh, about a couple of centimeters shorter. Uh, it's hard to see from this, but it, it's 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 about maybe a centimeter shorter, which gives you a bit more adjustment as well. Uh, the only thing I would advise is is actually use your your old nut because of obviously the fly at the end. So I would just swap the nuts over. Uh, if you want to change this, it's not an easy job. You have to lift the carpet up, center console up. It's very awkward to do in the car. Uh, if you want to remove this wire, this small small flange of, of metal here that's what keeps the cable from coming out so you need to bend that down and then you'll find the cable comes out okay and you can replace it with the new cable so yeah that's basically it if you've got all that done um i'm actually in the process of doing mine here at the minute and with new cables as well but you'll find that if you get this adjusted properly uh, obviously if you've got brand new discs it'll take a minute to wear in but once you have them wired in that you get this adjusted properly and you've got your cable adjusted properly you should have a very good handbrake uh, should be no issues like i say if it's your own car and you're trying to get through mot etc or mechanics out there don't just tighten the life out of this because all you'll do is stretch this unit or destroy these uh destroy these backing plates um, if you have these adjusted right and this adjusted right you should get a good enough handbrake um, so yeah that's that's basically it. it's a very quick one just I thought I'd show people while I'm at it here in my own car and the yeah, access access to these bits in the car is a bit of a nightmare I'll warn you out now it's you have to lift the carpet the rear end section of the carpet to get at it there's a there's a sh there's a shield covers this as well you have to take three bolts out of so it's not a handy thing to do these these aren't too bad if you're not removing the plates um so but if you're removing the plates remember 
your wheel bearing has to be removed which usually means uh, it gets destroyed when you're removing it so you're probably better with new wheel bearings and uh, these these bolts mountain bolts can be mountain bolts and then the the handbrake cables can be seized so you have to be very careful so that's it hopefully that helps you guys and uh hope everybody's keeping well and safe and that's it for today thanks bye